Okay, let's go ahead and start. I want to back up slightly and just re rephrase for you some elementary results about planar graphs. So first, our definition, a graph is planar if it can be drawn without edge crossings in the plane. Again, we emphasize the word can. Not that it is, but that it can be done. We also studied Euler's formula. When you draw a planar graph without crossings, you create vertices, edges, and faces, which can then be counted. And if you take the number of vertices minus the number of edges and add to it the number of faces, the answer is always t plus 1, where t is the number of components. This is Euler's formula. Again, this is the same Euler as in Euler circuit. We also study the notion of a homeomorph of a graph. Here I show two graphs, the original graph on the left and a modified graph on the right. And on the right, you will see that on some edges, not necessarily all edges, I have inserted one or more vertices as intermediate points along the edge. Any graph formed this way is called a homeomorph. The, the word homeo here is coming from the topological world. So those of you who have studied some topology will recognize the, this word being used there. Now, we also investigated the maximum number of edges that a planar graph can have. And we proved this theorem that if you have a planar graph with n vertices and n is at least three, then the number of edges in the graph, the number q, is at most 3n minus 6. And then we use that to note that the complete graph k5 is nonplanar. And why is that? Because k5 has five vertices, but it has 10 edges. 10 because 10 is 5 choose 2. So it has 10 edges, but 10 is bigger than 3 times 5 minus 6. 3 times 5 minus 6 is 9. And so the complete graph on five vertices cannot be planar. And since the graph is planar if and only if a homeomorph of the graph is planar, then we have as a consequence that any graph that contains a homeomorph of the complete graph on five vertices is not planar. So if you ask, is a graph planar? And you can find a homeomorph of a K5, you hold it up and you say no. And here is a homeomorph of K5. And the impartial referee, a computer, tests your certificate and verifies that it is indeed a homeomorph of K5, and now you have validated your negative answer.